Okay, everyone. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. I'm James Williams Jr. I'm still contemplating um, stage names. Not that that matters right now. So um, this is an update video. Um, there's bad news and there's okay news. So let me give you the bad news first. The bad news is that I don't have enough raw footage for all of my webisodes. The good news is that I found most of the footage that has some cheesy ass special effects in it and I have decided to give you guys everything that I have thus far. Not every single thing that I have but everything for my um, Guardians of the Earth uh, minus the cheesy special effects that will be in every episode except for episode 1 and the director's cut of 1 has like maybe 5% of episode 2 in it. And then episode 2, 3, and 4 will be in one, and then 5, 6, and 7 will be in another. So episode 1 gets its own uncut, no special effects, none of that, because I had enough raw footage to put that together. I did find my old hard drive, not the one that has all the good shit on it without the special effects, but the stuff that was transferred from that... Well, the stuff that I transferred from the old hard drive to that hard drive that got stolen, I found that. So I put all that together, and I'm going to give you guys a sample of that in a second. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to try and make it not as um, sketchy. And I'm going to do the best I can. I haven't really made a movie or anything in like 10 years. So I'm going to... Um, do the best I can to get what I have. It'll be three um, 35 to 40 minute things. So I'm gonna have to do um, I'm gonna have to do the um, the beginning credits. And the beginning credits it'll be like a chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. And um, when I title it on YouTube, I'll probably channel title it that way. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that yet. I just kind of want to edit it more first. So. Episode 1 is a complete director's cut. Episode 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All of those are what I found on my Typhoon hard drive. And I'm putting them on my Tomahawk hard drive. And they will be um, the be-all of uh, everything that I could do. And um, hopefully there will be something that you can at least watch and enjoy. I want you guys to all subscribe like and share after you see it and if you know anybody who can take it remake it copy it take all the special effects out and put brand new special effects in that would be great I will personally do a fear force and um other thing video sometime this weekend so between Friday night and Saturday night more than likely to be Saturday night Sunday morning that I'll be able to do it unless I do it Friday night, Saturday morning, depending on how things work out. So I'm going to give you guys a sample and um, you guys be the judge. I'm going to probably give you a couple of uh, good shots. You know, so there's me. Um, I'm thinking I should probably go back to where I play the bad guy in the Fear Force. So we're going to do that first. So we're going to have Tay and Rodney and Jay Diz, and then we're going to go until it's my scene in reality. So I want you guys to check out what I had and what I've basically put together. Yeah. Going to kill this light so it looks better. Maybe I'll turn this that way. Familiar? Kind of breaks up memories. 
but you know, Cleo's feeling kind of windy in here, if you will. So here's me in the real world now. I want to be this guy again. I lost my fire, guys. Hip replacement's taken out a lot of me. So back in the fear force, they kind of go hand in foot. Gonna give you a little more. I wish I could tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's out. Hip replacement has eliminated the hit, the kick to the flip. Yeah, I can't take those out. Surprise. Holding back some power. Oh yeah. Maybe you want the bitch I thought you were. You guys killed one of my best friends. Now it's time that I show you where you belong. Prepare for termination. I'm done playing with you, Dicon. Maybe next time. So, I probably gave you more than you probably needed, but um, I think that's like episode two and three, and then episode four is in here also. So basically, you know, I've um put the majority of what I could find onto a new hard drive. I could not take the um, special effects out, so that's a bit of a uh, issue I tried and I wound up trying to delete something so I had to go and redo everything so I decided against all odds to just put what I had in here and pray that you guys actually like it so when I was making it I was like totally limited to what I had plus I am not a computer guy so when I made this thing you know um it doesn't hurt to actually like 
know something about machines and computers when you're um, doing stuff. So I pay a lot of homage to a lot of um, things, you know. As a martial artist, martial arts is my life. It is the only thing that has kept me alive. It is the only woman that has never stabbed me in the back, broke my heart, stomped my face inside out. And it has never let me down. Okay. So, 10 years ago, when this was actually going on, uh, my life was going great, and then it wasn't. And then um, my movie got stolen. So, someone in Alabama has the good shit with um, the same special effects, but they were going to be improved and redone so that I could have earth, air, and water, and then steel. And what I had envisioned in my head, it can be done now. It just can't be done by me. And I would kill to reunite with all these guys and remake this shit. But I'm not cutting my hair. That's rule number one. <laughs> and, you know, if, like, you guys can hook me up with, like, um, uh, Hulu or um, Amazon or whoever is doing all the streaming services, this would have made a great show. And I'm pretty sure I can get these guys back. If the money is right. Because these guys worked for me for free when we made this. Because the ideal was for us all to have it on our social medias. And feed the world our stuff. Now some of it's probably cheesy compared to today. But mind you it was made 10 years ago. And it was stolen. So I'm going to show you um another fight scene with me and Tay. And also I did the voiceovers for the statues. So when you hear the demons talking. Excuse me. When you hear the dragon talking at the beginning of episode one, he starts talking about the darkness, the darkness. That wasn't in the original footage. I added that because I needed fillers because some of my footage is missing. And so I um, I found that and I was like, okay. I really had did that before we started shooting and I was like, okay, so let me um, put that in there. So I'm going to make a, a second part of this video after I show you guys this. And I'm going to give you some commentary with that, but not this scene, but with that. Um, but yeah, the voiceovers, I did the voiceovers to the statues, and I did the voiceover to the dragon statue. The dragon is something, I have no idea where the hell I got that damn thing. I still have it, it's in my closet somewhere. But um, I still have all the weapons. I, um, I did the voiceovers because as an actor, you have to have more than just one talent. And this here is not it because my face is ugly as fuck. But I'm okay with it since I almost burnt it off. But um, I actually burnt it off. Um, I think I burnt it off before I met these guys. Yeah, I did burn it off before I met these guys. I think. I don't want to tell you a lie. I know I burnt off my face. You know, I have pictures to prove it. But um, I had first degree burns like right here and my neck and my arm. So, but um. Yeah, I, um, this was supposed to make my career. It was supposed to launch my career because YouTube was new and had whatever asshole not taking my stuff. You would have a better product than what you're going to get. Um, I don't have the means of making this thing any better, so I'm going to do everything I can to like make it less grainy and try to make it, um, uh, I guess, um, fade more into um, things. There are some things I won't be able to change, I'll be honest, because I don't have the tech to um, take stuff out, put stuff back, and this is like my old Mac, so there's like a lot of stuff that's just not gonna end well. So no matter how I do it, it's gonna be something, it's not going to be the masterpiece that I dreamed it would be. So I'm apologizing to you guys for that, and this is your update part one. We're going to show you this fight scene with me and Tay in its entirety. And you'll even see me talking for the dragon. So first let me um, make sure the volume's all the way up on that. And then we're going to cut off this light. I'm going to angle these cameras. Or these um, computers rather. So we're there. And once I kill this light... We're going to move this up, tilt that down, move it over, and we're going to do wind and steel. I don't think that was me. Tell young girl what 
Yeah, I'm gonna explain the shirt thing. The shirt thing has nothing to do with him in the Fear Force. Special effect duty key number one. Time to change colors. Probably not something you want your children to hear. Fear Force only brings stuff out of my mind. I had no idea the real one could make weapons. But it took you long enough. Okay. So I know you're all thinking, what the hell just happened? Alright, so if you haven't seen the path, you need to go to Kung Fu Havoc number one to find out how all these guys met, with the exception of Steel, the exception of Daikon, and um, Wrath. Because those are three new characters that we added in when... Um, me and the guys were filming and they seen what we did with the path and um there wasn't enough game time for them if you would until they beat my ass at the end but in the end i wind up being their leader this takes place a few months after that when the real enemies come in after they've had an excursion with bank robbers so here in charlottesville you can't just like walk into a bank and say hey we want to film in here because that's not how shit works you know, you have to go through sanctions, you have to have um, money, and you have to have all kinds of other stuff. I knew how to green screen stuff, but I didn't have a big green sheet. And I couldn't just walk anywhere and film the inside of the bank. That's just not going to fucking happen. So, um, this takes place a few months after that. And what happens after that is basically, um, once you see the path, you'll understand what you're watching. So go to Comfort Havoc number one. And watch the path, part one, part two, and part three, and you should be able to put the story of how the origin of these guys came to be. And then, once this is up on Kung Fu Havoc number two under Guardians of the Earth, um, you will be able to um, figure out the story. But basically, it's these guys, they're element warriors, and um, they have superpowers. They're basically gods, you know. They're they're not immortal, but they're they're more or less gods compared to normal humans. They're gods because you'd have to be considered a god or super powered being to be able to control wind and fire and earth and ice. And to do that, we had special effects. And the guy who made my special effects in that one was the guy who was supposed to take it down to Alabama after losing his job for doing some stupid shit. And um, put new, better special effects in there because we were working on that before he lost his job. And he went to Alabama and my shit got stolen. So um, stay tuned for update part two. And then you guys, we're going to watch some stuff and then we're going to give you commentary. I'm only going to show uh, fight scenes because the fight scenes is basically what I was trying to get famous for.
all right? I'm a martial artist. I've always been a martial artist. I've always been a street fighter and a martial artist. So I wanted you guys to get a taste of what I was working on 10 years ago, which should have launched my career. Um, sadly, uh, Hands of Fate stabbed me in the face and other places. So there you go. I'm James Williams, Jeans, Comfort Avenue number two, BCNU.